60-year-old Patali School for the Blind is seeking the intervention of the government and well-meaning Nigerians to be able to continue with its free education program for the visually impaired. Plus TV Africa visited the school in Surulere area of Lagos to interact with the world of the visually challenged yet intelligent children. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo reports. Life for the visually impaired is better imagined than experienced, as it takes a lot to live in this class of disability conveniently. Most touching is hearing that some of them were not born this way. I know that that day I wanted to do my exam at nine years old. So I was not feeling headache from that place, child. I cannot see again. When I was two years old, a mon one morning I woke up, so I dressed up to go to school. I was in KG1. So that morning, I don't know, I just went to lie down my bed after I'm done with dressing up. I was having kata and cough. Then my mother went to health center to ask for drug, that's to buy drug for my kata and cough. And they gave me septrine. So the first day I first took the self I was having um, itch rashes on my body. Like not actually itch rashes, just some rashes. So the next day, my mother went there again and they gave her another antibiotic. The next day, that same day, I now started having blisters on my body then. That's how I started. And the thing went all over my body and all my skin was burnt. Pachali School for the Blind and Partially Sighted, an initiative of the then Catholic Archbishop of Lagos, Leo Halley, was officially opened on the 16th of June 1962 and named after the then serving Pope Pius VII Eugenio Pacelli. Learning without their sight is obviously a challenge. The challenges used to face is just say like like there's some kind of things you can't do on the computer. Like programming. It's hard for visually impaired to learn programming on computer. For the thing to enter my head sometimes, I may not understand. I have to ask the teacher to recap again. But at the end, sir. I used to get it, but it's not easy. Teaching visually impaired is not like teaching the normal child. The normal child, as you are teaching, they can see what you are talking about. But for the visually impaired, they just, they cannot, some have not, never ever seen anything before. So you just have to, as much as possible, bring home what you are talking about to the child. Moments in the classroom and labs are unique as they express themselves. We captured this scenario of a deaf and dumb father in a conversation with his visually impaired daughter. It's a touching moment as we speak with him. He said he wants scholarship for me just to finish my school. I want to go to Queen's College. Jane Nonyeneri is the principal of the school. She has a simple message to the government and well-meaning individuals. The government was in charge of this school before eventually the Catholic Church took over their school. And uh, we pleaded with them to give us annual subvention. They refused. And some government uh, governors, when they come, they can assist us as they can, like uh, Amber, they gave us a, a coaster bus. And a big money was budgeted for the physically challenged people in Lagos State. But that was our own share. So the only time they give us, thing, if there is a celebration, we write that we need something they give us. They are yet to step up to assist these children that are in Pacheli School that do not pay any form of tuition. So we are appealing to government. These are their own children. 
that the Catholic Church has decided to assist. They need to also help us because every month we, we pay 1.5 million for our staff. If they come to assist us, we'll be very, very grateful. By June 16, 2022, Pacelli School for the Blind will be 60. The principal is happy that products of the school are widely integrating successfully into public and private institutions. Destiny Mama for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.